Hi, this is Janet Nepalis for GMA7, and we're going to interview the cast of The Good Doctor. Hi, you've been on the show since 2018 portraying Dr. Morgan Resnick. So what is it about the show that really inspires you to continue? I love being on the show because it's constantly a challenge. Uh, the medical is <laughs> always changing, and so you can never just kind of relax. You always have to be working hard. Um, and then I also just love that my character, Morgan, is constantly evolving and growing. And so I am always getting to learn more about her and her relationships and her decisions. So it's... It's, it's never easy, but it's always fun. Mm -hmm. What about your character uh, that you admire the most? What traits do you admire the most about her? Morgan is a very strong, independent woman who is unapologetically proud and confident. And I really love that. Um, as a woman, it's hard to kind of own your strengths and feel comfortable just being proud and confident of them. And so I, that's something that I like to work on in my own life. Um, and I'm, I'm inspired by Morgan to keep doing that and hopefully setting an example for women out there that it's okay to be proud of yourself, especially when you work really hard and you've earned the things in your life. So. How do you see the arc of your character in season six? <laughs> um, well, so far um, in season six, uh, Morgan is really just dealing with the aftermath of everything that happened um, after the hostage situation. Um, Morgan and Park break up and you know, she was accused of being too ambitious, which um, we'll be dealing with throughout the season, as well as her and Park's relationship. And the fact that Park is now, um, you know, she's still she's still a resident, now he's in attending. So, <laughs> you know, Morgan has to deal with that. Um, and just figuring out, again, what she wants in life and also professionally. And you were a pre-med student at UCLA yeah. before you became an actress. So, and now you're a doctor here in this, uh, show so talk about what you learned from being a doctor in the show and the medical field um i don't know how much i've actually learned um being on the show um i've learned how to pretend um but like people will ask me like my husband will be like hey fiona can you take a look at this like what do you think and i'm like i, I really don't know i am not a doctor i guess you should not be coming to me for medical advice but um i i do find it very interesting and very fascinating but there are it's, it's funny because there's certain things that make me so queasy like when I have to draw blood on a patient and even though it's totally fake it freaks me out especially because I have to touch on the real person like their arteries or the veins like as I'm I just I, I don't like it I don't like it but I'm obsessed with like Dr. Pimple Popper like I'll sit and watch that show on the edge of my seat so <laughs> certain things do not gross me out and other things I can't handle. So how is it working with Freddie Heimer as both your colleague and also as an executive producer? Um, you know, working with Freddie is kind of a dream come true. Uh, not only is he an amazing actor and just so wonderful and lovely to play off of, but it's funny because I don't really, even though I know he's an executive producer, you don't really think of him that way. Uh, you just kind of think of him as a leader, as someone who carries himself with integrity and kindness, and he just kind of creates that sort of amazing environment on set that everyone kind of follows suit and so it's it's quite lovely but he's not you know ever being a producer in a way that makes it uncomfortable it's always something that's uplifting for one one another on set and if you were given a chance to rewrite the script what would you see your character do or become oh my um you know it's so funny i I don't often think about like, oh, what would I do for Morgan? I, I feel like we have such incredible writers that I'm always so excited when I get a script and get to see where she's going. Oftentimes, because it's it's a bit unexpected, it's not necessarily where I thought the show was going to go or what I thought I'd be doing, and, and I like it that way. Mm -hmm. Is there improvisation at all in the show? There is absolutely no improvisation on The Good Doctor. Um, you know, sometimes you can reach out to the writers a few weeks ahead of time and maybe, you know, ask them a quick question about something small, but they're doing a darn good job. So we don't, you don't really often have to do that. And how do you think the show is changing the perspective on uh, autism? I think that with anything, the more you can educate people um, and 
have insight into something, it just creates an awareness and an understanding and hopefully uh, empathy. And so having a show like this that is shining a light on this is just increasing that awareness uh, throughout society. It's so just so wonderful to meet people uh, who have um, people in their family that are on the spectrum and to hear their personal stories about how the show has uplifted them or inspired them or given them hope, how it feels to see um, themselves reflected on the screen and to know we're a part of something like that is just, I mean, it's a dream come true. And were you familiar also with the Korean show? I no, I wasn't familiar with the Korean show before I I joined. Uh, since I did, but not not prior. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts that you want to share with the audiences about the show? I just you know it's it's so amazing our fan base out there. The fact that we have such an international fan base and that people are watching from all over the world. And I just I just want to thank them for for their support and for their love and for being there week after week. And it's just it's such an incredible feeling. And um, I can't wait to travel <laughs> and see more of the world and and hopefully meet some of the uh, good doctor fans out there. Thank you very much. Thank you.